Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss how to fix uh, could not activate cellular data network turn on the cellular data or use Wi-Fi to access data. For example, if you are uh, using uh, Safari and after that uh, a few seconds uh, you see this kind of error. So uh, there are options available which means you can simply click on OK and you can go to settings. So if you want to solve this error then what you have to do you have to simply watch this video completely. So without wasting any time let's start the video first of all you have to simply close this page and after closing this page what you have to do next is you have to make sure that uh, you have a proper Wi-Fi or internet connection connected on your iPhone for this what you have to do you have to simply turn on the airplane mode from uh, some second and after that you have to turn it off again so that your Wi-Fi or internet connection can be restarted and the next thing you have to do is you have to simply uh, restart your Wi-Fi router and after restarting your Wi-Fi router you have to simply go to settings and after that you have to scroll it down until you find the option of general. So here what you have to do you have to simply uh, scroll it down until you find the option of transfer or reset iPhone. So here you have to click on reset and after that you have to simply reset all of your network setting. And after uh, resetting all of your network setting you have to simply go back. And after that uh, now you have to simply set up your uh, SIM or a cellular data on your iPhone. For this you have to make sure that uh, you have inserted a physical SIM in your iPhone and if it is not available then you can also activate your eSIM on your iPhone. So here you have to simply check your mobile services on your iPhone and after checking uh, you have to simply restart your iPhone and after restarting iPhone you have to check whether your problem is still available or not. If the problem is still there then you have to simply uh, go to Apple support and ask for the solution of the problem and you can also go for the Apple discussion and you can check whether you are having the same problem or all the iPhone users are having this problem and you can also get uh, any solution uh, there. So hope you have liked this video if you get more videos like this you can subscribe our channel.